So now let's take a look at an example of define a matrix of different job configurations. So I'm going to go to my Node.js repository and then we are going to create a workflow. So I'm going to add a file, name it as matrix.yaml and over here, let's name our workflow matrix example and it will be on push branches main now let's define the job so first one would be build and the strategy so we are going to define the strategy over here would be matrix and then operating system would be so the latest available is ubuntu 2204 and then we will also test it on our workflow on ubuntu 2004 and for node we'll test our workflow on node 18 and 20 and then runs on so instead of ubuntu latest we are going to use matrix.os and then the steps so the steps would be name would be checkout repository which uses actions checkout v4 or standard checkout and now let's set up node.js which uses actions setup node node v4 and here usually we use node version we use a hard coded version but we can use matrix dot node so this will pick up node version 18 or 20 and then we'll use name install dependencies for the next step and we'll run npm install and then build the app will run npm run build so we have defined our standard workflow but the only difference over here is we have this matrix.node and matrix.os so this workflow will run four times one would be combination of ubuntu 2204 and node 18 second would be ubuntu 2204 node 20 Third would be Ubuntu 20 and Node 18. Fourth would be Ubuntu 20 and Node 20. So for these parameters, it will do a combination of these two parameters and run our workflow. So th that will be four combinations in total. So now let's commit our changes in the main branch. And now let's go to actions. Let's click on the left on our matrix example workflow and you'll see this job running. So here you see zero of four jobs completed. So it will actually create four jobs. And here are the different parameters that we were discussing, Ubuntu 2204, Node 18 and such. So there are like four jobs that will run. And we'll just click one and see that it will set up the Node.js and it will follow the steps that we were we had written with different combinations so that way you can run your workflows and test your workflows depending on your requirements on different operating systems different node versions and such